May the love that has brought you together continue to grow and enrich your life. May your house be a place of happiness for all who enter there. I know, I'm like, oh no, it might not be a wedding now. You're absolutely gorgeous on the inside and on the outside. You have such a huge heart. You care more about others than yourself, and you go out of your way to make sure everyone is happy and taken care of. Ashley truly is a person you can depend and rely on. You've always been there for me, and you've always encouraged me. You've been such an amazing friend, and I don't know what I'd do without you. tuck in so that it stays in your hand. I take you, Ashley, to be my wife. I promise to love you unconditionally, to take care of you, to be a good husband, to treat you with respect you deserve. I give you my hand, my heart, and my love from this day forward for as long as you will tell them. Remember that this marriage ceremony is only a symbol, a celebration, a public recognition of what already exists in the silent places of your heart. Totally granted into me as a minister of the gospel of Jesus of Christ. I now declare that Brenda and Ashley are husband and wife. You may seal your marriage with a kiss. So go big or go home. Uh, this is about as big as it gets. Brendan uh, just got married today. Brendan and Ashley are starting their life together doing what they uh, both love in the biggest ways possible, uh, spending it with friends and family uh, in the town. Put your hands together for the start of the night. Mr. and Mrs. Lake. My hope and wish for the two of you is that you love each other unconditionally as you spend the rest of your lives together and that you have a lifetime of happiness. I love you, girl. Please raise your glass to this beautiful bride. So congratulations to you both, this is just the beginning, so enjoy it.
to Ashley and Brendan. Toast to the groom, uh, Brendan, a good man, a good friend, and now a good husband. To the groom. 